Love that story. Love all the stories that Luke brings us every Friday with Alabama Originals. Love this forecast we've got yeah. to look and forward to today I love, and this weekend. Yeah, Carson Meredith. Yeah, not too bad. As we close out the week, head into the weekend, but it's not totally smooth sailing this weekend. We'll dive deeper into those rain chances in a moment. Right now on the Way 31 Skycam Network, you see clear skies. We've got a beautiful sunrise underway, but you will need the jackets. Temperatures in the mid 40s wherever you are, but with those clear skies, we'll warm up pretty quickly throughout the rest of your Friday. The Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network is nice and quiet, and it is going to stay that way all day. If you're heading out and about today, should be just fine. Temperature wise, pretty seasonable actually. 77 is where we are averages this time of year, and that's where we're heading today. We'll call it the mid to upper 70s later on. Big game Friday night. It's about as good as it gets for the month of October with those football temperatures. We've called a touchdown forecast. 67 in the first at kickoff tonight, almost at first pitch. 64 at halftime tonight and down to 60 degrees by the fourth quarter. Any chores outdoors this weekend? No major concerns today or Saturday. Outside of that wind. We could have some of those gusts around 20, maybe 25 miles per hour. We'll do it all over again Saturday as well. Now by Sunday, there will be another cold front moving through, and this one won't have as much moisture as the front that we saw earlier this week, but we'll still have that chance for a few showers Sunday afternoon and Sunday night. There'll be a decent bit of dry time Sunday, but just keep that in mind if you have any outdoor plans to close out the weekend. Here we go. Future radar and those temperatures. We're heading for the mid 70s today. Plenty of sunshine, of course. Clear skies tonight. When you wake up Saturday morning, those temperatures a few degrees warmer, but still cool in the low 50s. Tomorrow will be the warmest day in our entire seven day forecast. In fact, this could be the last day that we see the 80s for quite some time. We'll go with the mid 80s Saturday afternoon and then Saturday night. You see those clouds starting to move in and this particular forecast model trying to squeeze out a couple of showers along the Alabama Tennessee state line towards that 10 or 11 o'clock time frame Saturday night. Most of us will stay dry until Sunday afternoon and evening, but like we mentioned, there's just not much moisture with this particular front. So our drought conditions are likely going to get worse over the next few days. This new update of the drought monitor came down yesterday. You see that all of North Alabama is in that yellow. That means we are all dry, but especially Northwest Alabama is starting to get into that drought phase, a moderate drought to be exact. This doesn't factor in the rain we saw on Wednesday, but since we're about to enter another long stretch of mostly dry weather, those drought conditions likely get worse for the rest of the month. Look at your temperature roller coaster. We go from 84 on Saturday down to 67 Monday and 60 on the dot Tuesday. Some spots may be stuck in the 50s for parts of next week, and it's not just those afternoon highs that are going to be chilly. Look at your seven day forecast Tuesday morning and Wednesday morning. We will likely have widespread frost and there is a increasing chance that we'll have our first freeze of the season sometime next week.